Hi, this is Nico from Error Robotics, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to Error Rain all the different parts from a helicopter. For example, the GPS, the buzzer, how to connect the RC receiver, the power module, while supply, while and all the con all the connectors from the motors. Okay, just first of all, just notice that every brain is looking forward to the I mean in the same direction as the yellow arms. So it means that your error brains X arrow should look the same direction as the yellow arms. So, first of all, take the power module connector and connect it to the power, okay? So, like this, just facing these metal leads or pins backwards, okay, like this. Maybe this way is more clear. Okay. Secondly, I am going to connect the RC receivers wire to the 14th channel. Okay, as you can see. In the other brain, all the channels has number. I mean, all not all the channels, sorry. The first one and the last one, number 14. So just take the wire that comes from the RC receiver and connect it to the last one. Like this. By the way, also notice that the Wi Fi USB is already connected. Okay, so just plug it into the unique USB port that you have in the brain. Next. The next step would be to connect the motor, I mean the SC, ESC wires to their channels in the airway. So, which is the first motor and which is the last one? Okay. Basically, the order is like this. This one is the first motor, this one the second one, third one, and fourth one. So just plug it, plug the each motor wires to the corresponding channel. For example, the first motors ESC connected to the first channel here, okay. Like this. So one, the second one is this one. Just make the same. Take the wire and plug it. Just remember to connect the white wire in the first row, okay? Because it's the sine wire. Like this, okay? So one, two, third one is this one. So repeat the same. Take the ESC wire and plug it into the third channel. Like this. And lastly, take the last one. Fourth motor to the fourth channel. Like like this. Okay. 
Now we have just plugged or connect the basic components that every helicopter needs just to fly. To fly. So I'm going to connect the complementary devices and I'm going to start with the buzzer. So take the buzzer's connector and put it into the connector that is labeled as bus over here. Bus, bus, bus. That one. So they hit and flat. Great. Normally we just tied up the buzzer over here, but I thought that maybe that this way was clear, okay, more clear. And finally, take the GPS compass. So where you should just fit the GPS compass? In this hole over here, okay? So, just uh, see that notice that has a kind of arrow. This arrow should also point in the same direction as the X arrow of the airplane. Okay? So, just take it, insert it in the hole. and tight it up with the screwdriver. Okay. okay. As you can see, these two arrows are pointing the yellow ones. So finally, we have to just connect the two connectors. Take the connector that has six holes, the big one, and connect it into the serial port. This one up here. So take it and make connection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. And next, take the small one. This one is belong it belongs to the compass and connect it to one of the E2C connectors. Okay, great. Now we are ready to power up a helicopter. So, just do it, I mean. Take the connector that came from the battery and connect it to the one that comes from the power module, okay? Notice that first of all, the blue light is on. This means that the autopilot has not been launched yet. Notice also that first of all, the Wi-Fi turns on. This buzzer sound means that the autopilot has been launched. And you will see that the autopilot is ready to arm when the, this LED over here, the orange one, is blinking. Okay, so once you just 
Just check that. Turn on the air zero cyber and arm the copter, the helicopter, just to make the, so make this movement. I mean, just put the left stick into the right. You just hear the buzzer just saying us that is going to that the helicopter was going to arm. And as you can see, the motors are already moving. Now just to disarm the helicopter, move the stick to the left, like this. Notice that the throttle should be in its minimum value. I mean, not here, not this movement, like this. Okay. So if you just move it to the right, like this, you will arm helicopter. And to the sun helicopter, just put it into the left. Great. As you just have here, the buzzer makes two different noises just to say that the copter is arming and when the copter is disarming. So this element is really useful just to know in which state the, auto, the autopilot is. And finally, also notice, finally, let's see, this connector is well connected, yeah. See that GPS is just, uh, I mean, it's power up. Okay? In case that you just do not properly attach the connector, the green light will not turn on. Okay? So we should just to connect it properly. Like, like this. And the same with the small connector, okay? That goes to the E2, I2C, sorry. Great, if you just uh, follow these steps, you should be ready to fly, to fly your helicopter. So, in the next video, we will just show you how to make your first flight, okay? We will show you how to arm this arm again, the helicopter, and how to use the, the different flying modes that we have preset in the Air Zero Cyber. Basically, oh, sorry. Basically, we just, I um, mean, the Air Zero Cyber is just configured to have two fly modes, okay? that you can be selected in this switch over here. The switch is called gear. Okay. This mode, when the switch is in this position, we have just decided just to put it in a stabilized mode. And like this in a little hole. And finally, we have also pre-configured the RC Resider to use the simple mode. So the simple mode in this way is just off and if you just move the switch to this position, it turns on, okay? So that's all for today. Hope it's helpful for you and check our videos in our webpage and in our YouTube channel. So thank, thank you very much and see you.